I've brought friends around for lunch who have small children and within seconds mum will, you know, have, have the little kid out, you know, pointing out trees or sitting down with a book or playing with toys. So it's just so second nature to them, honestly as natural as breathing. So a full uh, lifetime career of uh, primary school teaching uh, and that's both of us with Kim having some time off to have children. I think reading and the love of books is just so important. Nothing like having a book in your hand and it helps reading, helps writing, and helps children learn in a yeah. lot of ways. Before I could even read or write, I remember going through a book that just had pictures in it with mum and we would create our own little story. You get to a point when you've been doing something for 40 years when you think, yep, yeah, it's time and um, I was certainly ready for it. Yeah, I think most people at this point when they finally get their children to, to move out of home, they kind of kick back and celebrate a little bit, um, which I'm sure mum and dad did for a few years there. Um, but when they both retired, you know, they have plenty of things that they do to fill their days and fill their lives. But I think it was just the idea of being able to give something back and do something a little bit more. And in lieu of having any grandchildren on the horizon, I think it was sort of quite a natural and exciting thing for them to do. We really like the idea of uh, being there for emergency care if they need to uh, place someone and uh, respite care is the other thing. So not only are we giving some respite to the child, those long-term carers are getting a break as well. After that one information night it sort of all just snowballed and they were signing up to things and they were going through the um, screening process and we were getting calls to sort of reference check them in a way. Honestly, it just felt like such a natural thing for them to do. Getting the children one-on-one, -on -one, taking the time to get to know them, develop a relationship, it's been really rewarding for us. It certainly added another dimension to our yeah. lives that we're really mm. enjoying. They would do what they could to pretty much create the idyllic childhood situation for us, so lots of great family holidays, really good school support obviously with them both being school teachers, um, and just super encouraging, warm and loving parents. It broadens their horizons, even though it might only be for a few days here and there, it could be even life-changing. So I go into my old bedroom and there's toys out now, um, and there's board games that I haven't seen for 20 years. I tried to call Dad sometimes to talk about my problems or my life, and he's so distracted because he's playing Connect Four, and there's laughing in the background. I think it's given me renewed energy in life, uh, rather than just, OK, I'm uh, 60 years old now, I'm going to sit back and put my feet up. Well, I've done that now, what am I going to do? I feel reinvigorated, yeah. And we're having fun with these kids yeah. too. And we can do things, you can take them to the beach, to the park. So just giving them that one-on-one -on -one time, very simple, very easy to do, but just giving them time. With teaching, that's what we'd hoped that we, in some small way, we'd made a difference in the life of a child. And this is taking it in another dimension with the children that we have in our care. We've both grown up with very close families. It is important to us. And if we can just give that children that sense, even for the small time they're with us, great.